The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our webinar today. For those of you who are regular attendees of our webinars, you know I always say good morning, afternoon, and evening, not just because it's my welcome on my iHeartRadio show, but because we have attendees on this webinar from all over the world, all over the United States, and all over the world. So I never know what time zone you are in as an attendee, so I always like to welcome you to whatever part of the day or evening it is. I'm excited to have our guests on today from Bradio. I really love this product because knowledge is key. And if you can't get access to your knowledge that your company has, then your ability to help your clients and help yourselves as a business to grow is really crippled. So let's dive right in and go over what we're going to be talking about today and how you can get started with Bradio. So what we're going to be talking about is our usual way that we do our under the hood webinars. We're going to talk about the problem that Bradio solves and the solution. And why should you sell this into your clients? We'll talk, we'll do a live demo. And I really love this demo because it shows how easy and simple it is to start capturing the knowledge that your company has or your clients' companies have. We'll talk about sales and pricing and how you can get started. So let's dive right in and introduce you to the really amazing and fun Sam Osborne, Director of Client Services for Bradio. So Sam, welcome to the webinar. It's great to be here. Thank you, Laura. Uh, my name is Sam Osborne, and I'm the Director of Client Services here at uh, Bradio. You can reach me at sam at bradio.com, and my number is 802-233-0197. Before we go any further, but one of the things I want to bring your attention to the picture. This picture really typifies how I feel about radio. I will talk to anybody, anywhere, any place about radio. And I'm hoping that you'll reach out to me or anyone on our team to talk about radio and get a full demonstration. And to make that easier for you, we have a special offer. We have a $500 fifth for any, uh, for, uh, $500 SPIF for any um, uh, curated meeting for us. And uh, I'm hoping that you'll take advantage of it. What's the biggest problem that's gonna face your company? It faces it now and in the future. Is the accessing of content or expertise in the moment you need it. And that is what causes the most frustration in your company, and if we fix it, it will cause the most ease. We're all salesmen here, so let's talk about building a, building a um, proposal. Example, when you build a proposal, you've got to talk to development and engineering to find out if those features still work. You've got to talk to client services to make sure that all of those uh, that the features are working and everything's up to speed and that client doesn't have any outstanding issues. You've got to talk to accounting to make sure that they're paying all their bills. And you've got to talk to, the, to your uh, the VP of sales to make sure the pricing is all together. Now you have to go around to each of those silos, reach into them, get the information, and put it into your proposal. That takes time and time is money. So what you really want to do is begin to build a program with Bradio in which you have a work stream that takes all of the, all that information and streams it right to your desktop. That, that process starts with people. Did you know that 80% of all people, uh, all information in companies is informal? That means that it sits in the brains of people in, and they have that information when they leave companies that, that information walks out the door. So how do you capture that informal knowledge, that intellectual capital? That's one aspect of it. The second aspect of it is the third party integrations. You have Salesforce, you've got Confluence, you've got Trello, you've got Slack, and there you have to go to each one of those stations to make absolutely sure that you have all that information. What if you had a tool that brought all that together? What if this tool that every conversation on chat 
or video chat that you had, captured that, that conversation and indexed it? What happens if you had a tool that took all those third-party third integrations and flowed them to your desktop? You would be able to, to turn around a proposal in not just 24 hours, but in an hour. We work with companies in many different industries. Ribbon and Verizon and Telecom, Excel, Energy, Zimmer Biomet in uh, uh, healthcare and Toyota Financial Services. And we have current integrations with Salesforce, SharePoint, Office 365, Google Drive, QuickBooks, and Candy. And coming soon are Facebook, Workday, Trello, Slack, Jira, and Confluence. But if you've got a third party, if you have a third party uh, application that you want integrated into Bradio, do not hesitate to give me a call. We can work something out. We can get it, we can get it integrated into your workflow. What are the jobs to be done that Bradio can do? We can connect your silos. We can enable better and faster decision making. We can improve delivery to your customers. We can improve, reduce the loss of know-how. You know when that guy walks out the door with all that information? Provide more efficient workflows between all those people that we mentioned during the proposal. Reduce search time. Where do you find that key piece of information that goes into the proposal that will help you win it? And also, it builds, when you have that kind of information, it builds trust, not just with your fellow employees, but with your customers also. What, are work, what kinds of work streams can we do? Learning, customer service, sales enablement, uh, onboarding of customers, field operations, those are just some of them. We can do a work stream for any part of your company. If you have a work stream that you, you one of your customers wants us to take a look at, we're more than happy to do and help you do that. What markets are we in? We're in large companies, small, medium, and uh, large and enterprise companies. And we cover telecommunications, media, healthcare, any company that needs to have their work, their work streams work effectively for them. All right, let's turn it over to you, Sam, so that you can give us a demo of the product. Okay, you should Great. have it now. Thank you. Can everyone see my screen? Okay. Bradio, what you're seeing here is my, my dashboard. I work in sales and in customer success. And the key thing here is, is that all of this information is from those two areas are coming in to me. The first thing is, if I've got a question about anything, whether it be Blue Prism, simply typing it in, I get that information. I can also do a voice search on any information that I need. In my work streams, I also have uh, my boss has assigned me courses on Blue Prism and made sure, and he goes in and checks and makes sure that I filled out the quizzes and gotten all the information. If I have a question for him about Blue Prism or he responds to a question that I have, that information will come back and be captured and also indexed. So it's always, so the answer to that question is always there, saving the next salesperson a lot of time. As you can see, my activity feed is, is, gives me a direction for the day. This information, it can have new leads in it. It can have conversations about my, about my customers in it. And it can also bring up any kind of features that, um, or issues that came up from client services. Going up here to the top here, I have all my courses laid out for me. I can also have case studies available to me that will allow you to um, that allow you to attach those to any kind of um, 
any kind of program that you're uh, sending out a proposal. I also have knowledge tab. You can search the knowledge tab and you can put in your own knowledge information into that. Where does information come from the knowledge tab? You can populate it yourselves. It'll pick up any conversation, but anything that's in the knowledge tab is indexed, so it's immediately searchable right away. In addition, you can have conversations, and you can invite people to those conversations about any of, the, any of your products or your issues. It's literally like going across the country and tapping someone on the shoulder. But the great thing about this information is it's captured and indexed, so, when, so that when Raphael answers a question about a certain feature, that's always there so that Scott can go in there and look it up again later. If I need to go to the next level or if any of your customers need to go to the next level, they simply contact an expert. And these, these experts are designated by the company to answer these specific questions. If I need to have a specific question about general information, I click on general information, describe my uh, situation more, and then that allow, and when I hit connect, it connects over to that expert, and that expert can get back to me in a conversation or in a video, um, in a video chat. Here is my work stream, and I'm going to show you in the back end how you can create your own work stream. But here are some of the things that are in it: case studies, sales, but also conversations that um, that have been having about things that are important. Uh, to both sales and customer service. Again, you can make work streams for any aspect of the company that you want. HR, development, it's really up to you. The back end is very robust and very easy to use. If you can build an email and use an email tool, you can do this. The dashboard. The dashboard shows where all the where everybody is with the with the courses. As you can see, who's completed it and who hasn't. And you can also check on the quizzes here too. You want to you want to customize the site for one of your customers. You they can easily uh, put in their own logo colors. They can tell you uh, they can choose whether they want to see courses, collaborative conversations the knowledge tab or dashboards. And you can set it in English and you can also, this is where you start to add in things like SharePoint and Salesforce. Managing your members is very easy. You only need two pieces of information, first name, last name, and email. And adding them or taking them off is very easy. It gives you a lot of flexibility. If you want to add your own course, uh, you can do that by simply um, adding that course to the um, adding the course to the, uh, uh, to it by tapping on new course, the title, description, any tags you want in there. If there's a price to it, scheduled release, and you can add that lesson and add that quiz. Very quick and easy to do. This is also where you would uh, sign uh, do tier support and link assignments and tap categories and create and finally to create a work stream this is how it as you can see a sales uh, the sales work stream and the customer success both of those work streams were created for me in the back end it's very simple to use very intuitive to use I'm going to turn the screen back over to, well, I think she's going to take it from me. There um, we go. I'm going great. to take it from you. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. I really love that demo. Okay, let's dive into the pricing, what we're looking okay. for. Okay, pricing. We have the small, medium, large, and extra large. And small teams are up to 500 users, and it's $2,500 a month, and that gives you one work stream. Medium teams are $5,000 a month, and that gives you up to 1,000 users. And you get with that, you get a single sign-on, Slack and sales integration, plus all the work streams you need. 
large teams are ten thousand dollars up to five thousand uh, uh, up to five thousand users and same thing single sign-on slack and salesforce integration and it multiple as many work streams as you can think of Ma the massive or extra large is twenty five thousand dollars a month and that's unlimited and you can get single sign-on slack and salesforce integration plus all the work streams you could possibly need now the question is, how do you make money? Can you see the slide okay? I cannot. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, can you see it now? Nope. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. Great. Got All it? right. So, how do you make money with Bradio? Let's take medium teams. Medium team is up to a thousand users, and that's five thousand dollars a month. So an annual contract is sixty thousand dollars. You get ten percent of that, six thousand dollars. Now, if you get a five-year contract, you're going to get paid every year. Uh, every year you'll get paid the six thousand dollars. And um, next slide. Commissions are pay, paid on an annual recurring revenue. Commissions are paid net 30 of the contract payment and all changes in policy to this have to be approved by the Bradio CEO. Again, we want your business and we will um, do everything we can to help you, uh, help you succeed here. If you bring, again, remind you of the SPIF. If you bring us a vetted meeting, we're happy to uh, pay you $500 for that, whether it closes or not. Thank you. And again, call me, write me. I uh, would love to hear from you. And I know that uh, the rest of the team would be looking forward to doing a deeper dive into the tool. Well, thank you for sharing all that great information with us, Sam. We have a few questions that have come in. So let's let's dive right in to get to okay. all of them. And we got some questions in advance from people who registered. So cool. uh, one of the questions was, why should we care about the integrations that Bradio has with other platforms? Because that's where your information is. When you don't have those integrations, you're siloing that. Someone in customer service isn't getting information out of Salesforce in, in a smooth, uh, in a smooth way and then and they're forced to go to the people who have access to Salesforce to get that information and vice versa. There are there are uh, lots of CRMs out there and sometimes we run into companies where once two different CRMs are being used in ones in client services, the other in sales and uh, never they never meet. When they made train stations, they didn't make the train come to come to an individual train station outside the city. They made all the trains come to come into the into one place. And that's what we do. We bring everything into one place. I love that. That's a great analogy. Things need to come together to make it easier because if yeah. it was everywhere, forget it. You'd, you wouldn't be able to use it. It would just be so yeah. nobody would want to do business. Yeah. Okay. Another question was. What format do the courses need to be? They can be any format at all. They could be PDFs, they could be video, they could be Excel file, they could be um, PowerPoint or Word documents. Remember, doesn't matter what, con what the content is, we can index all of it, and that thus makes it searchable. Okay, do they, when they enter, adding a little bit <laughs> to that question, because I've got a question. So yeah. you say uploaded a PowerPoint or a video, like we just did yeah. the whole thing. Does the user who created that course have to put in keywords or do you in search index? Uh, you, you don't, doesn't have to put in keywords. It always helps, but um, everything's indexed in the content. Wow, that is, that is really amazing. So even on video, you can index content? Yep, yeah, that's, uh, it's, uh, yes. Wow. Okay, that that's totally brilliant. <laughs> I want to upload something just to see what it comes up with. That would be really cool. <laughs> okay. Um, you mentioned the the fees and the pricing for yes. the clients, the end users, and then how we would make money. 
this is from one of the M MSP resellers. What is your partner program? Are there any contracts to sign? Any costs with us to come on board? No, there are no costs uh, to, uh, for you to come on board, and you can um, all once uh, once we've worked together on the with the customer and we've closed the customer, then we simply turn around and pay you um, pay you the commissions. So it sounds like your this is a, another question that somebody asked was it, it sounds like you're really doing all the heavy lifting that all we yes. have to do is introduce you to our client and yeah. then you sell them on it and take care of the relationship from that point on around that's, radio only. Yeah. That's exactly that's exactly correct. We like to have after the introduction is is, is made, we like to have you uh, working with us, but after a certain point, there's uh, we can take it over. Okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. I I know that a lot of resellers are always concerned that once they turn a relationship over, they're afraid that that relationship they may lose control over it. So, what assurances can you give to our community that's listening that you're a partner with them? Uh, it's not in our best interest to um, to love you and leave you, so to speak. We consider our relationship with uh, SASMAX and the reseller uh, community be a long-term one. We expect to be around for many, many years and fully ex and want and need them to partner with us over that t over that time period. Love it. That's it's such a knowledge and data is so important to grow any business, both from the reseller side and from all the client sides in all those markets. I, I can't believe nobody has created something like this before. And I love how you guys have implemented. It's great. Thank you. It's, it's not, it's, yeah. it, it's a whole team of us uh, working hard and they've been working hard on this for many, many years. So thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful product and so simple and easy to use. All right, that's all I have on the questions. We have, have a, a couple of a SASMAX webinars coming up soon. You can go to sasmax.com slash events. If you are not currently a SASMAX reseller, you can reach out to Clint Gatewood, our channel chief, and he will get you to our solution team. Or if you have any questions about this webinar or want to talk more, and I'll go back up to the wonderful photo that Sam put up there, reach out to Sam. Please do, this is the information to reach him as the Director of Client Services for Bradio. I wanna thank everybody so much for being here with us today. And we're here to support you. SASMAX is your one-stop shop to meet the best of breed for SAS apps that are out there today. As you saw with Bradio and Sam, they're doing something that nobody else is doing. So why don't you jump on board and get a conversation with them. Sam, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Appreciate it, Laura. Thanks for the time. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, the right questions can change your life. So think of a question to ask Sam. I know he's got the answer for you. Have a great day. <laughs> All right. Take care.